can see this alright, but um, <clears throat> thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a little series of videos kind of showing my strategies for each of the spawns in Geometry Wars. Um, uh, also, uh, like general ways that I do things. First thing though I think I'll mention actually doesn't have to do with gameplay. It's uh, having to do with the notifications that pop up uh, when you're playing. It needs to be extremely frustrating. So if you don't know already, there are a couple ways to get rid of these. The easiest one, the most temporary, is to go to oops, that was an one. the personal settings, the online status, and say busy. Now, what that'll do is that will make everyone else on your friends list see you as busy, and it will automatically stop any notifications from coming up. Another one is to go in here, say notifications, and just uncheck this box. Um, since I usually only do this for a couple games, I just set it to busy, then I don't have to keep worrying about that. Uh, another thing, a lot I don't know if people do it or not, go ahead and just like set up some music that you enjoy listening to while you're playing. Uh, I'm going to put it a little bit quiet here, play it off of my Zoom, but uh, <clears throat> just so you can hear me, I'll, I'll keep it down. Normally I have it where it overtakes the game sounds and uh, external sounds in the room. got the game to the point where we're at level 10. Um, if you don't know what that means, basically it means there's no more, uh, there's no higher level of difficulty you can get. The game has reached its peak uh, in terms of difficulty, and these are the hardest spawns you'll encounter. These are the ones I'm going to do the, I guess, tutorials for first. If people want, I can do lower level tut uh, tutorials, but they're harder to do because the lower difficulties happen at essentially random points, depending on the game. It just depends on how that game is going for you at that particular time. So I'm going to start off with eight here. I just died. <coughs> so as I play, I'm going to explain my reasoning for doing things and my general strategies for what I'm dealing with. Okay, I always am shooting, almost always. Okay, so this is called a variety spawn. Um, basically, you want to deal with these in corners. Sometimes when you get a large trail of those red clone ships, you want to go ahead and activate those black holes, okay, I didn't mean to die there, but it kind of helps to serve my point. You can do this generally on every uh, four corner variety spawn, like that, uh, same general strategy, even if you're not in the same position or at the same side or same corner or whatever, or you just finished some other spawn, go ahead and pick a corner that you can get to the safest, and get there as soon as you can and either activate the black hole and run away, drawing the enemies there, or destroy the black hole and it will repel any enemies that are chasing you. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay, now surround spawns, always try and find some little corner to shoot out and then get out of the surround thing, because uh, if you wait too long, they will encompass you and kill you. Alright, these are called uh, just general spawns. See, there we go, out through a corner again on the snakes. Snakes are the most important surround spawn to get out of early because they will literally trap you and force you to use a bomb or die. Okay. So these kind of spawns, just do whatever you can. I'm going to use a bomb so it's not as messy. And then I just see I'm charging for this corner. Alright. Let that black hole consume a bunch of stuff. Now I want to try and clean up my screen. Try not to have too many black holes on the screen at once because they can uh, they can cause issues. Now I killed myself on purpose so I can show you general strategy for dealing with these four corner spawns. And this applies to every four corner spawn with the exception of the pink and the uh, the jacks. So I'll go ahead and show you this. Basically, I try and go from one side to the other, and that uses up a lot of this the spawns time, and then just cut through at angles to get through. Now, see, we're going to continue onto this. Oh, the pink killed me. Um, normally, that wouldn't be such a bad idea just to continue. If you think you're overwhelmed, use a bomb. But as you're trying to develop your skills, uh, gradually start uh, 
not using a bomb for stuff that you normally would. It's kind of hard to talk and play at the same time when I'm actually having to think about what I'm talking about. Alright, so, no, I thought I shot him. I think it's keep going there. And you want to pay attention to your lives. Um, if they get too low, you can have a problem. Oh, I die there. <laughs> but usually if mine hit four, I start paying attention because you don't want to be in a position where your game is going to end. Yeah, that would be close, okay. You don't want to be in a position where your game is going to end just because there's something you couldn't avoid. At that point, your lives become more important than your bombs. Before then, since they take longer to get, 100,000 points compared to 75,000, that's how you, see that was how you go through a four-pointer game. Uh, bombs become, are usually more valuable. Alright, so let's go with these. The green are a little different four-corner spawn. Since the green are scared of you, you can just like shoot backwards a little bit. Oh, I didn't notice that, I was talking. You can shoot backwards a little bit and repel the big swarm. Alright, and you'll notice every uh, surround spawn, with the exception of the snakes, you have a slight second before uh, the enemies that are appearing actually will affect you and kill you. Uh, this is very important. So you can be literally up against the wall and touching these enemies that are warping in, and they won't hurt you unless they're snakes. Okay, that was too close, so we're going to bomb that. Alright, so we'll just keep going around. You notice I'm going in what's called the circle straight. Uh, this is usually the most effective strategy. Actually, I don't know of any high scorers that use anything but this. Uh, you don't have to go counterclockwise, it just feels most natural to me. Alright, now these four corners, most people you're just going to want to do that. Bomb them and then continue on with the rest of the spawn. Because it takes a lot of skill, I only know personally of three other people that can do it in the world, uh, to actually survive that without using a bomb. So, most people watching this don't even bother trying. And that's not being elitist or anything, that's just uh, good advice. And see, you notice these um, small guys from the exploded uh, black holes. Most people, as soon as they see them, they freak out and they bomb. Oh, that was my bad. I shouldn't have bombed that. Uh, usually, as long as you keep going in circles and you have drastic uh, cornering in your circling, that's uh, not a problem. 